So a lot of players have been wondering how we're going to handle uh, wolf territories, pack territories in Wolf Quest 3, so let's take a look at that now. In the old game, of course, the territories are very simple. Um, the player just has this half a pie um, sliced up, and as with everything in the old game, um, that's for simplicity, both for us to build it as well as for players to understand what to do and to actually manage to do it. We knew that these territories were very small compared to real wolf territories, but um, we didn't want to make um, marking and maintaining your territory a, a, a terribly huge task. Of course, in the real world, wolf territories can be huge, extending over hundreds of square kilometers. But in northern Yellowstone, because the elk population provides such a dense food base, packed territories don't have to be huge and sprawling, and in fact, they're pretty packed in there. They really focus there on that northern range where there's always elk to be found to eat. So that's what we're trying to recreate here in Wolf Quest 3. So here's our new world map view. Um, so right now it's just me here on the map. Of course, that'll go with my mate and then Den and then, you know, all sorts of other things. Over time, as the game progresses, here we are. This is Amethyst Mountain and uh, the Yellowstone mini map. Um, and because it's a big map, this is the whole map again. 49 square kilometers in the new game, um, but as you can see more detail, you can you can zoom in. Um, that's me pointing that way. So let's show the pack territories here. There they are, we're using a hexagonal uh, layout to show the extent of their territory and how strong their claim to that territory is. So the, the more opaque the color, they've really marked that and are maintaining their territory very strongly. It fades out as it gets further away from their, their um, home site. So we have three packs here, Molly's Pack, um, the green one is Junction Butte, and then Lamar Canyon. And so their territory quality fades and, uh, and creates this no man's land here in the middle. And in Amethyst, this is your only safe zone. Um, so your mission, of course, in Amethyst is to find a mate. Here's the only place you're gonna be able to look for a mate without um, running into stranger wolves, hostile wolves. You might find a few dispersals in here and uh, you might get lucky. But quite probably, you will not be able to uh, find a mate in this safe no man's land. You're going to have to extend your search into these, uh, into the edges of these other PAX territories. And there you're gonna meet um, uh, a variety of wolves, some belonging to that pack, might be some from the pack but dispersing, um, and you might uh, meet some members of that pack who could be persuaded to become a dispersal and, and join up with you. We'll talk about that in a future video. Of course, in the Amethyst level, as a, as a lone wolf, and then even once you have a mate, um, you're not going to try to claim territory here because you've got you know full-blown packs surrounding you, and uh, you try to claim this territory even or even start to really claim some of these. Uh, edges of these other territories, they are not going to like that. They are going to come after you. Of course, once you move to Slough Creek, you will be establishing and maintaining a territory. You're going to have to carve that out and defend it um, in order to keep your pups safe. But we'll talk about that in another video.